We know that x is raised to the negative 2, so we write that as a fraction. I know it's ugly in the beginning, you don't want to do this stuff, but what you end up getting is 3 times you move this into a fraction, 1 over x squared, making it positive. But this whole thing lives in the numerator of a larger fraction. So I draw a larger fraction line down here, and then the bottom I make this a fraction, 1 over y to the first. Now on the top, it's going to basically be 3 over 1 times this. So you multiply the tops, 3, multiply the bottoms, x squared. On the bottom, you're still going to be stuck with the 1 over y. But then you have a fraction divided by a fraction. We know how to handle that. You take the top fraction, change this division here to multiplication, take the bottom fraction, flip it over. 3 times y will give you 3y, and then x squared times 1 will give you x squared. So you get 3y over x squared. This is the final answer. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.